In this short video, we continue our discussion of serrated polyps of the colon and how to ensure complete removal. Serrated polyps are a newly described type of polyp that are very hard to see and have hard to identify edges. Up to one third of these may be incompletely removed by standard methods of polypectomy, and they also account for a large proportion of missed or interval colorectal cancers. This video demonstrates a typical sessile serrated polyp. It is initially difficult to see, but the key features are a slight granular surface with adherent mucus. Here, viewing it under both white light and narrowband imaging, we can more clearly identify the lesion and identify its borders. Removal of these is best done by the standard method of endoscopic mucosal resection, where we inject a fluid or saline solution with a blue dye, in this case methylene blue, underneath the lesion. The blue dye allows us to clearly see the margins of the lesion and the associated normal mucosa. Here we use a stiff wire snare to grab the lesion, attempting to grab both the lesion and a surrounding one to two millimeter margin of normal tissue. Importantly, we carefully inspect the margins to make sure that we have a complete resection. In this case, there appears to be some residual polypoid tissue in the lower right corner of the resected specimen. We extend our resection using a stiff, small wire loop, in this case without electrosurgical current. Our goal is to ensure complete removal of both the lesion and surrounding several millimeters of normal tissue. Finally, we inspect carefully to make sure that we have a complete removal. Patients can refer themselves or be referred by their primary physician.